Hey lads, so uh, welcome back and let's have some fun with these examples. So uh, we're still um, discussing about the intersection and the union of two or more intervals. So uh, we have four sets or intervals here, namely A, B, C and D. So um, A is the uh, any number X such that it takes the value from from 1 until 7 but does not include 1 and 7 and and the number x is the element of z which is the integer so it's not real numbers it's just the integer and i hope you guys still can remember the definition of integers and b is the set of the uh, element the, the element of set B is just negative 6, negative 4, negative 2, 0, 2, 4, 6. So this is just the, uh, the also the integers and basically the uh, even number of integers. What about C and D? C and D is just like um, we, we can say that C is x for any number that takes from 1 to 5 and x is the uh, element of real numbers and for d also x for any numbers that take the value from negative 1 until 3 and x also the element of real numbers so uh, basically i take uh, four examples over here so uh, i would like you to pause this video first and then try it yourself so uh, basically for a for set a here the element of set a is just so uh, let's say for a here so let's say we have our number line so uh, we have one two three four 5, 6, 7, 8. So, so in, spite, in spite we have n long inter intervals here, we just, we just have the, 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 the element of A such that A is from 1 to 7, does not include 1 and 7, and X or, or the, the numbers are the element of integers. So what does it mean? It means it starts with 2, and then 3, 4, 5, and 6. So so 2.1, 2.2, 3.5 does not belong to A. And what about B? B just straightforward this set in set notation here. What about C? So C here, if we look at the number line, we have 1 until 5. And 1 until 5 does not belong to, to C. So it looks like this. It looks like this. And what about D? D here is just basically again our number line from negative 1 until 3. Negative 1 is not included. 3 is included. So it's just take the value from negative 1 until 3 straight line here because it it is it, it, they are the, the real numbers so it takes from negative 1 negative negative 0 0.9 2.5 and cetera etc cetera. so um, let's let's have a look at the first example here where we want to find set a union b so i really hope you you pause the video previously and then try yourself and we check our solution here. So for our first question here, we want to find A union B. So uh, we have our number line here. Long one. So we have A and B over here. So uh, Let's say we start with negative 6. So we have negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 
zero, one, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, six over here. So uh, B is just the, the the number or the elements of B are negative six, negative four, negative two, zero, two, four and six over here so it's just the set of uh, dense dot and then what about a a is as like we discussed before it takes number two three four five and six so the the, the union the union of of this set or this interval is should be so uh, a union b here should be negative six negative four negative two zero two three four five and six so that's the answer for a what about b here we have Interval C or set C intersect with set D. So uh, we have C intersect D. So again, let's draw our number line. So we have long number line here. So uh, the, 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 the end points that matters here is ne are the negative 1, 1, 3 and 5. So uh, we have over here negative 1 and then we have 1 3 and 5 so for C we have 1 until 5 here so we have 1 until 5 this is our first set so uh, this is our first set and for D we have negative 1 does not include negative 1 and we have 3 included, so then start here. So it takes the value from negative 1 up to 3. So this is our second set. So the, 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 the intersection between these intervals is this one. Is this one. So from it should start from 1 and up with, till 3. And one is included in the in the D interval, but does not belong to C. Therefore, one with round bracket and three over here is included in both intervals. Therefore, three is the closed one. So for C in the sec D, we have one and three, and the type is half open. Good. What about C and D? C and D are the are the examples of how uh, three intervals involve. So uh, let's start with C. Well, basically C and D is different by this bracket only. So uh, how can we, we we answer C? So the question C over here we start with C union with D. We write the question here from left to right. So so we we we, we try to solve C union D first and then the, the product here intersect with B. So C union D. So uh, again we have our number line here. We have negative one, we have one 3 and 5 so for C we have 1 up to 5 and we have over here negative 1 up to 3 so for this first step here we want to find the C union D so it's, it should be negative 1 up to 5 therefore negative 1 up to 5 with open bracket or, or 
open interval here so the the second the second step here is we consider the negative one five intersect with interval or set b over here so we have again long one long number line start with negative six we have negative five negative four negative three negative two negative one and one here two three four five and six and b takes the value of negative six negative four negative two zero two four and six and we have the the, the the previous c union d so negative one until five so we have we have negative one up to five here so uh, take up all the values so we want to find the intersection between these two points so we can see here for both intervals or set zero is included so we have we have zero over here and then we have two and then we have four so that's the answer for C and what about D so for D for D here instead of instead of we we start from left hand side or left side we we must first solve the inside the bracket so uh, for question D the first step is we solve D or we find intersect uh, we find the intersection between set D and B so again the long number line we have negative 6 negative 4 negative 2 0 2 4 6 and for D we have negative 1 so so See, this is our negative one one two so three is over here so we have negative six negative four negative two zero two four and six this is for the elements for b and d what about d we have negative one with with uh, empty dots and we have dance dot for number three so the intersection between these two sets are just zero and two so we have zero and two and then this one this one is zero and two so the, the next step is we want to find the union between C union with 0 and 2. So basically we have this number line here. So uh, let's see we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. And C takes the value from 1 until 5 all the way and then we have 0 and 2 so we want to find the, the, the union between these two intervals or set therefore the elements should be 0 or from 1 to 5 so hope this video helps you in uh, build in building your 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 understanding for intersection and the union of two or more intervals so uh, you can also manipulate this question for various types and you know you can change union to intersection and then and you you have the, the different answers it should be you have 
different answers. So uh, till next time, thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.